Friends, welcome to our next video in the series Finance and Investing Tidbits. But this is a sequel to our previous video in which I had introduced the concept of operating and financial leverage. In this video, by looking at the example of Kingfisher Airlines, we're going to see how this operating and financial leverage can kill a business or can create enormous fortunes for a business. So it's a uh, it's a sword that we have to use very carefully, right? And uh, so that's something I'm going to explain to you uh, in this video. But before we actually go into the example of Kingfisher, let me very quickly refresh your memory uh, uh, about what we discussed in the previous video. So uh, you would remember that we had discussed uh, these concepts of uh, you know, total variable costs, operating fixed costs, and financial fixed costs. And then we also talked about uh, profit definitions such as contribution and profit before financial fixed costs. Now, operating leverage and financial leverage can be calculated using this data. So, contribution divided by profit before financial fixed costs gives us the operating leverage. Profit before financial fixed costs divided by profit before tax gives us the financial leverage. And when we multiply the two, we get total leverage. This is something we had already discussed in the previous video. But now let us look at the interpretational aspects of this so that we are able to easily master it. Now let us see how it works. Okay, so if say operating leverage is 3, in the previous video uh, it had come to 3.33, but here let's simply take it as 3 for simplicity's sake. So what does this three operating leverage mean? What it means is that for 1% change in quantity sold, either increase or decrease, the profit before financial fixed costs would change not by 1%, but 1% multiplied by the operating leverage of three. So it will actually change by 3%. In other words, if sales go up, profit before financial fixed costs would go up three times than the increase in sales. But the, uh, the corollary also is that if there is a 1% fall in quantity sold, the profit before financial fixed cost would drop by 3%. How about if it was a 10% change in quantity sold, profit before financial fixed cost would change by 30%, 10% into three. So 30% change would be the profit. Now, imagine if the financial leverage of the same company is say two, right? The total leverage would be three of operating leverage, two of financial leverage, and it multiplies to each other as we had seen in the previous video as well as in the intro of this video. So three into two makes it six. Thus profit before tax. Now I'm not talking about profit before financial fixed costs. I'm now talking about profit before tax. Profit before tax would change by 6% for every 1% change in quantity sold. You would remember I had earlier discussed that profit before financial fixed cost would change by 3% because of the operating leverage of 3, but profit before tax would change by 6% because of the total leverage, that is operating leverage of 3 multiplied by financial leverage of 2. So total leverage of 6. Thus, what we find is that for 10% change in quantity sold, there would be a whopping change of 60% in profit before tax. And 20%, we can say 120% change in profit before tax. So this is a learning which is very, very important. Sometimes you may find in the quarterly results that company sales have gone up by 10, 15%, but the profits zoom, uh, you know, by 100%. Now, why does that happen? That actually happens because of leverage. So this is where there is a very key learning for us. Now, whenever fixed operating costs are high, operating leverage would tend to be high. This is something I discussed in the earlier video also. Similarly, wherever fixed financial costs are high, financial leverage tends to be high. And the two multiply together to give us the total leverage. Now, financial leverage is high when our borrowings are high, right? So the operating leverage depends on the nature of the business, right? So certain businesses like hospitality, airline, uh, IT would tend to have high operating leverage because there is a very high layer of fixed operating costs. But 
uh, whether you would have fixed financial costs depends on whether you use equity or debt as a source of financing. So if you use equity as a source of financing, you're not going to have any fixed financial costs. And in such a case, the financial leverage would be exactly one because profit before financial fixed costs minus zero would be profit before tax and they will be exactly equal. So profit before financial fixed costs divided by profit before tax will give us the answer of one. And therefore financial leverage will be one if you are financing the business totally out of equity. On the other hand, if you are financing the business out of debt or borrowings, there will be an interest cost and there will be a gap between profit before financial fixed costs and profit before tax and the financial leverage would also tend to be high. Now imagine when they multiply, the total leverage would be even higher. Now imagine the operating leverage is 5 and financial leverage is 2. As, just we, as we just said, the total leverage is a multiplier of these two, which is 10. So 10% fall in sales would result in 100% fall in profits. The entire profit gets wiped out. This is a big risk, isn't it? That the entire profit is getting wiped out. So this is where businesses have to be very, very careful. Now, when operating fixed costs are high, like in case of airlines, the firm has to keep financial leverage less. Because operating fixed costs are already high, or already high, your operating leverage is going to be high. So don't multiply it with financial leverage. Keep the financial leverage low. So that can be done, as we have just discussed, by financing the business by equity rather than borrowings or debt. So Kingfisher Airlines uh, is a very interesting example because when they were set up, they ensured that they are very aware about this impact of operating and financial leverage. So how do you manage your operating leverage? One of the ways you can do it is that you try and reduce your operating fixed costs because as we have discussed uh, a couple of times, uh, higher the operating fixed costs, higher would be the operating leverage. So one of the things that they did originally uh, that they outsourced a lot of their activities to Indian Airlines. And some of you who may have traveled Kingfisher Airlines would know that their ticketing counters were actually the Indian Airlines counters. Their check-in counters were Indian Airlines counters and they had similar planes as Indian Airlines which were Airbus aircrafts. So even the repairs maintenance, what is called as MRO was outsourced to Indian Airlines. And that was a very prudent way of uh, managing operating fixed costs well and therefore operating leverage well. And further, they uh, had relied on equity financing to reduce the impact of financial leverage. So financial leverage was uh, only one because there was hardly any interest cost. But where did everything go wrong? The mistake happened when they acquired Deccan Air. That's where some strategic mistakes happened. So at that time, when the business uh, was undergoing a major acquisition, one has to be very careful because as you would have seen, major mergers, major acquisitions, there are a lot of integration challenges. There are cultural uh, differences and integrating two firms is never easy. Now, Kingfisher had positioned itself as a premier airline and Deccan Air was a low cost pioneer. So when you try to integrate two completely diverse businesses, uh, which had different sets of aircrafts, one had Airbus, the other had Boeings, very different positioning in the marketplace and I'm sure different work cultures. Um, you know, it would obviously take toll in terms of integration, right? And there was competition also, obviously. So when you have competition, there is going to be some pressure on sales, right? And uh, if on top of this, you fund this acquisition of another airlines by massive borrowings, what's going to happen is, you already have operating leverage because of the nature of airline business and that gets compounded by financial leverage now because now you have borrowed money to acquire this airline. So the total leverage now has multiplied. Now any fall in sales is going to create a pressure on profits. Now we can imagine a situation where 10% drop in sales can wipe out 100% or even more of profits and they can even create losses. So this is exactly what went wrong. But remember, Kingfisher was not the only airline to fail for this reason. Swissair, which was once called as the flying bank, 
because it belonged to a very rich nation of Switzerland, had also expanded aggressively using borrowings. And uh, naturally, when there were pressures on the business arising out of uh, uh, a downturn in, in the tourism industry, uh, there was a lot of challenge for Swissair too. And Swissair went belly up and they had to create a new airline called a Swiss. So uh, what I'm now going to do, I hope you got a good idea in terms of how uh, leverage can hurt a business. But we are also going to talk about the opportunities that these kinds of leverages can throw to investors. So that's something I'm, I'm going to discuss in the third video on operating leverage in, and financial leverage, of course, in terms of what care the investor should take and how they can benefit from operating and financial leverage also. So do watch that video too. For more such videos, do explore our channel, Dr. Abhijit Fadnis. Thank you so much.